Welcome back everybody. On today's video is just a quick one on replacing a battery in a Peugeot Boxer. I'm just doing this as a little bit of a fill in while we're waiting for the van to get painted and as you would have seen it needed doing because the battery had died. So the battery on the Peugeot Boxer is located in the passenger side footwell the same as it is on a Fiat Ducato and a Citroen Relay and things like that. The tools that you'll need will be a 13mm socket wrench or just a socket and a bar of metal if you've got one of them. A 10mm wrench or an adjustable spanner. A standard Phillips screwdriver and a standard flathead screwdriver. It might help if you've got a shorter one of these because there are little bits where it's hard to get to. So the first thing you want to do is take your flathead screwdriver and you're just releasing all these on the panel. Like so just a little bit of a turn. And then you can remove the panel. So the first bit of actually removing the battery once you've got that panel off is you're going to need your 13mm socket wrench. You'll see why I say a socket wrench rather than one of these in a moment. As you put it on this nut here and you want to remove this nut and then remove the bracket. Just like that. As I said, with an actual wrench, it would make this a little bit easier. So you just want to remove this by lifting it up and out. And the same with this bracket here. To release this battery, you want to release the negative side first, where it's got this quick release catch. So all you do for that is you open it up, which releases that. And you just lift it up and keep that out of the way. The next stage is where your Phillips screwdriver and your 10mm socket comes in handy. As on this panel, usually, that for some reason there wasn't on my one, there's usually two Phillips screws just there, which you would need to unscrew to release. And then down in this corner here, you have this nut that will need to be removed. Once you've unscrewed that nut a little bit, it releases the pressure so that you can take off that panel which frees up the battery. Please note that when you remove the battery, there is uh, a tube that comes from the battery and runs into a hole into the van. You just need to take this off and put it onto the new battery. So lifting it up, there's the tube I was on about. So you're just gonna wanna take that off get rid of the old battery. Now that the old battery is out, it's time to put the new battery in. So the way we do this is exactly the same way as we took it out, just the other way around.
Now, because obviously I'm turning it into a camper, I decided I'd go for the bigger battery. So I'm hoping that it will fit tidy. It looks like it should be fine, just a little bit skewish. Okay, so moment of truth. Let's test it out. Seems like we got power. Hey! Happy days! Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. This was a bit of a slapdash video, I know, but in my eyes, it, I really needed to get the battery sorted and it just helped fill in the gap from the last video to where I get the van painted, as that seems to be proving a bit longer than planned. It also gave me an opportunity to try out the new camera, so comment down below your thoughts on it and if it works. If you've actually enjoyed any of this or learned anything, please consider giving me a subscribe that would help the channel out massively and until next time my friends cheers